Hello friends and fans of Central Control, my name is Oliver Walker and today we're going to be uh, looking at another very, very great feature of the uh, Central Control piece of software and um, we're going to be looking at um, sending time code from vMix through Central Control and spitting it out to uh, NDI. So this can be very useful if you would like to um, see time elapsed, time remaining on uh, a multi-view or if you have... Uh, well, how do I put this uh, idiot talent who uh, can get quite stressed if they can't see when the VTs are counting down? How long's left in this video? The video's almost done. Tim, how long is left in this mother video? Any minute. You know what, Tim? It's just not good enough. I'm absolutely sick and... Wow, that looks stressful. Let's make sure we uh, minimise the stress so Joe here can uh, keep providing great updates for all of us. So let's dive in and see how we're going to set this up. Okay, let's head into central control. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a uh, an NDI device. Scroll right down, NDI. Make sure we're at 20, 2020p. That's, that's not a resolution. 720p for this tutorial and turn that on. Um, as you can see, I've already have an instance of vMix uh, set up and mapped, but I'm just going to dive into the control mapping. And vMix provides these two um, time code sources, um, which we can send to NDI. So what I'm going to do is uh, down here, change it from vMix to NDI out. And let's for this, let's do uh, remaining time so our, our talent can know when their next pickup is. I'm just going to add that and close out of the control mapping menu. So where can we use this uh, nifty little feature? We can use it, um, bring it back into vMix in our multi-view, or for this example, what I'm going to do is uh, use it with overlays in Studio Monitor. So if I pull up my Studio Monitor here and just select the vMix output as, uh, here we are, there's, there's Gareth, you may recognize him from previous videos. Uh, and what I can do now is right click again, go down to settings, overlay, and we're going to go back to this uh, oddly named laptop. I don't know why it's called that. It's, it's very weird. Um, and select central control. And here we go. Any minute now, uh, we can see the uh, time code clock counting down. And I can even enable alpha channel. And here it is. Nice full screen. Um, now you may be wondering, this looks a bit odd in the middle of the screen, what can I do about this? We can go back into central control, go to that NDI device talking about earlier, and we can make sure that's rendered at the bottom and maybe make it a little smaller or bigger, depending on how blind the talent is. Um, I know, should have gone to spec savers. Let's take a look at this in action now with a special musical performance from the one and only, it's my favourite musical artist actually, um, Mabel. So we have Mabel's performance from the Brit Awards here in preview. And just to take note, um, the uh, timecode that is sent via central control is of the uh, program in vMix. So I'm just going to cut to Mabel. And here she is, looking great as per usual. Um, you can see the colour of the timecode is green right now. And if I just scrub through the footage, scrub far enough, it even changes orange and then red in the final few seconds where our talent should really be ready to go. So thank you for checking out this uh, central control tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful. If it wasn't, let us know uh, in the comments what you would like to see next. And um, also drop a line of what your favorite Mabel tune is. That'd be really, uh, really good to know for the uh, upcoming videos. So. Cheers for watching and goodbye.